President Obama unveiled plans to cut the defense budget by nearly half a trillion dollars and reshape the Pentagon into a leaner, more cost-effective fighting machine, one that relies less on people and more on high-tech gadgets and cyber tactics. That means new areas of growth for contractors. Megan Hughes is in Washington with some of the benefits of this austerity. Hi there, Margaret. Yeah, President Obama outlined a leaner military in that speech last week, but he also laid out where the government would be making investments. And analysts say big contractors like Northrop and Lockheed Martin will adjust accordingly. Today's large contractors are integrators. They may lose an aircraft and gain a satellite. They may see one division shut down because of a cut in contracting efforts which affect support efforts for, say, the war, and then win because they have a division which works with cyber security. And cybersecurity, one growth area that Northrop CEO Wes Bush has said that will be a priority for that company, already the government's biggest cybersecurity provider. We know that the military is more vulnerable to hackers as it relies more on satellites and drones. Analysts at Jeffries and Company put U.S. defense cybersecurity totals at 10 to $11 billion. One other area of growth, Margaret, space-based technologies. The Pentagon requested about $10.2 billion this fiscal year for its space program, including about $5.8 billion for satellites and $2 billion in a launch cost. Two of the space programs involving satellites are being developed by Lockheed Martin. Another satellite system using medium and heavy lift rockets is run by United Launch Alliance. That's a joint venture of Lockheed and Boeing, so some familiar names. The Pentagon requested about $1.7 billion for that project this year. Now, analysts say these kinds of investments may also spur some more startup companies, but, Margaret, you can also expect more M&A. It's estimated that major defense contractors have about $40 billion available for acquisitions, and we've already started to see this with some companies like Raytheon this year.